Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Star Maid. Okay, so what's going on today? Well, as you can tell, let me zoom into my character here. As you can tell, we're here in our base. And I guess it's time for a little update. So I have been playing the game, but it's been on and off, and it's been very sporadic, you know, like hour here, an hour there. So for those of you who are following my channel, thank you. I appreciate your eyeballs. I, I appreciate, you know, you taking the time to to listen to my stuff, if you do, to, I don't know, to comment and all that fun stuff, right? So that, I, I appreciate all that. That all helps out. And so on to the fun stuff. So I'm on the Star Squadron server here. And as you can tell, the glass looks like it does work on the one direction. But I think on the other direction it doesn't. So we have to actually rotate these blocks a certain way, is my understanding. And I'm having a, a few issues recording here, kind of with the frame rate. It's kind of dropping, but it's it's kind of returning back up, and it's it's giving me about on average about 20 frames a second or so. So hopefully we'll be okay with that. I apologize if it's kind of jagged or or if it's kind of like weird, I don't know how to describe it. I'm trying to think of the word, the word to use for that. You know, I'm usually pretty good with words, but when I'm on the fly trying to figure out what the words are. So today we're going to look at our factory setup. I think that warrants us a little look over here because I've been kind of busy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. See all those wonderful boxes. So these do update and do work through the glass, which is kind of funny before. I went into this room, they weren't there. <laughs> and I was gonna think, oh, okay, well, it's not working. But now it seems to be working just right, the glass. I'm gonna hop into here, see, as you can tell, we, this is our storage room. I've installed these kind of, oh yeah, tab G, I guess we need to see the, the interface now. So yeah, so I've installed these things so that way I can kind of create some quick production here. These all pull from this box up here on the wall. This is like a main main storage. So we got this operating. Um, I threw a bunch of, of resources in there. I, I changed up the lighting here. I kind of did this with the lighting here. It kind of lights up the, the place a bit better, makes it a bit more brighter. Down around here we have our, our capsule refinery that it takes in the materials. So this stuff will take in the materials from this storage room here. And if you open this up, you'll see there'll, there'll be a storage section here. I got these factory enhancers here all connected to the capsule refinery because that does improve it. Then this is the storage over here of the capsule refinery. There is a button on the capsule refinery here. So that way we can you deactivate it. That's just what it is, right? So off we go over here. So this is the factory section. Now you kind of got a glimpse of it, I think, when you looked in there, but let's walk in. Boom, okay, so look at this massive place. Well, there's a reason for why I'm doing this is because I want to try and craft every possible item in the game. And so I'm trying to come up with an idea of creating these crafting kind of sections, right? And up here, I'm kind of messing with the idea of putting more factory enhancers up there. But I'm not sure if, if I would add another kind of row here for the the standard and the advanced. Maybe maybe I'll have to move this over one and then put the standard and the advanced all three in each of these maybe. That might be something to look at. But then we need a room for these factory enhancers. We have room up above for factory enhancers. But then what about the third one, right? So yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm kind of toying with that idea. And then we kind of go down this way. We kind of see that we have these display units. So that way I know at a glance what the heck it's crafting. Since you can't really tell other than going, uh, let's see, into the block. Which, see, this is full. Which is fine because down here this is full. Or at least it... Let's see, let's pull 200 at a time. I think that would be... I know why it's the 400 because of all the other units using it. But once you've got a stockpile, I don't think 400 would really matter because we got the blue the blue hull and the gray hull here kind of operating, right? Uh, gray hull, where are we? Right over here, this is the gray hull. 
And then we got the blue hull here, which that uses gray hull. But then we have gray hull wedges, which all pull from you know, this thing here. Then we have this thing that you creates the gray hull wedges. I don't know why there's little bits of numbers in there. It's kind of odd, but it, it happens. And these are where they end up, the gray hull wedges. Do I have enough? I think I have 42. So let's order up 500 of them. Now, the plan is, is once I got all this production kind of established, then the plan is to create kind of like a collection box back in the, the control hub. So let's kind of go down here. I created this here. I created this hallway here, kind of, sort of. But back here, I placed all of these power capacitors because that's what we need for this. If you notice, I'm kind of toying with the look of these, these things a little bit. Man, it's really choppy, I'm, and I hope it's not too choppy for all of you, but if it is, I apologize. Here you can see the power, you know, it's out of, uh, what, 725,000, and if you notice, if you look, that when they all kind of process, it uses up a lot of power, so back here will be a wall of power, basically, that's just what it's going to be. And then down here we have an access for... Ooh, I can't see. There, it turned the flashlight on. So down here we have access to put more power capacitors. Here will be going that way, which will just allow us to to put more power capacitors all along on the left-hand side here. Back here we, of course, have... I don't know what this will be. This is just uh, kind of... I wanted to create the doors here. And then here I kind of carry on. You can kind of see inside there. And of course, the base isn't done. We still got a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. But I've kind of been working and kind of not. This is, you know, I play this game when I can. Not to mention my internet is really, really crappy. Not that you would care, but yeah, the internet where I live is really crappy. So that's why you tend to see kind of more single player content versus multiplayer content. You know, like this. Yeah. So yeah, so that's just the way it is. So yeah, so we got the inside here. I've been expanding you, you, this side here. I'm preparing more areas for some more factories here, which is kind of exciting. Down over here, yeah, boom, boom, boom. I still have to replace the floor, put some more lights in maybe. Uh, I should put probably a light into here, right here in the wall maybe, because like over here it is. I don't know, we'll see, we'll have to see. I'm really excited. This is turning out to be quite nice. So above this might be another level, but I'm not too sure. It all depends on how I want to handle the roof stuff. So I'm still kind of debating on how I want that to look. So yeah, so there you go, folks. Short episode, not really much. This is all that I've been doing. I've been kind of hanging out down here, working on the production facilities. I haven't really been making any more carved to Laramar or any of those kind of resources to try and sell stuff because I don't really need the money at the moment. I'm still kind of working on this space. I want to kind of have this done before I work on the other stuff. I do want to build a space station. I do want to build a jump gate. I do want to do all that fun stuff, of course, because I want to explore that part of the game. I do want to create drones, but I want to build the shipyard so that way we have those drones, or so that way we can use that to build the drones and to build the mining ship with the drones. I want to experiment with that. Maybe I want to create one with attack drones, and, and we'll go from there. So, yeah, so thank you, everybody, for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one, which will be probably in a while. So yeah, so bye-bye.